Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you a very simple but quite popular project called ultrasonic mist maker or ultrasonic humidifier. The heart of this uh, type of ultrasonic mist maker is a device called piezoelectric transducer like this one. It works on a principle called piezoelectric effect. It is nothing but a vibration of some certain crystal under the electric field. So the frequency range starts from few kHz to several megahertz. And all of these devices have some certain frequency called resonant frequency when it is tuned or when the voltage, AC voltage applied across this uh, transducer at some certain frequency range, it vibrates maximum. And when this kind of device is placed in water, water above that, there are some low pressure, high pressure column is created. And at the low pressure spots, some bubbles are formed. And this, when this bubble uh, starts to go upward, and at this on the surface, water surface, it explodes and creates water mist. So I'll try to explain as very simple circuit to drive such a transducer to produce water mist. An ultrasonic transducer consists of a special solid material called piezoelectric material. This is sandwiched between two metal discs. When a voltage applied, the piezoelectric material deformed, mainly bends. When a voltage is applied in one direction, it bends supports and when applied in the opposite direction, it bends downwards. When an AC is applied, this up and down vibration cycle continues in synchronism with the AC signal frequency. When an ultrasonic transducer is placed in water, and AC voltage is applied to the transducer, low and high water pressure is created above the water column. During the low pressure, right above the transducer, water bubbles are created. When water arrives in the high pressure region, the bubbles are contracted, and in low pressure region, these are expanded. When the bubble reach the surface, these bubbles explodes and mist is created. A piezoelectric transducer can be represented by LCR circuit. Like any other LCR circuit, it has a resonance frequency. When tuned at this frequency, the vibration amplitude becomes maximum. A electrically, it acts as a capacitor as well, so a additional Capacitance CE is also shown as an equivalent circuit uh, with the transducer. I bought a few ultrasonic transducers from Amazon. The model number and brief description is shown here. Its resonance frequency is nearly 110 kilohertz and has a capacitance of 3 nanofarad driving voltage ranges from 3 volt to 12 volt. The voltage values should be considered as RMS values. So maximum 12 volt means 17 volt peak, uh, peak voltage. For mist making, more than 10 volt peak is needed. To find out the resonance frequency of the transducer, I connected a 10 ohm resistor in series with the signal generator and uh, a oscilloscope channel is uh, connected across this 10 ohm resistor to measure the voltage across this resistor. The frequency of the signal generator was slowly increased and the waveform, which represents the uh, voltage across the 10 ohm resistor is shown. And as the frequency is increased, the amplitude goes higher and higher until the resonance is reached. When there is a resonance frequency, the amplitude is picked. And beyond that, again, 
amplitude starts dropping so we have to tune uh, our driving circuit exactly at the resonant frequency or close to the resonant frequency i try to simulate the electrical circuit a 600 microhenry inductor is connected in series with the capacitance of 3 nanofarad which is the equivalent capacitance of the transducer that i am going to use a 1 kilo ohm resistor is in parallel and this resistor represents the energy loss uh, or the energy conversion from electrical to the mist making mechanical energy as you can see using the 600 microhenry inductor we can get 100 and the resonance at close to 110 kilohertz so this is the value or close to this value of inductor uh, we have to use to make the make a driving circuit ac source of any kind is suitable to drive such a transducer however the simplest and most popular driving circuit is shown here a 600 microhenry inductor is connected to the mosfet and the mosfet gate is driven with a square wave when the mosfet is on current starts flowing through the inductor and the inductor stores energy during the on time once the mosfet is mosfet is off the stored energy passes uh, over to the transducer as you can see the though the mosfet supply voltage is 5 volt the peak voltage across the transducer is much higher due to the resonance effect this 100 nanofarad capacitor is used to prevent dc to pass you can see that value of c1 is much higher than the capacitance of the transducer that is 3 nanofarad A TTL inverter IC 74HC14 is used to make a simple oscillator. You will find in a lot of information about this inverter oscillator in many places. So I am not going to explain how it works. Just to mention that the frequency of oscillation depends on the value of the capacitor C1, that is 4.7 nanofarad, and the combination of the resistor R1 plus R2. R1 is kept a variable to tune the frequency at 110 kilohertz. The second inverter is used just as a buffer. As the TTL ICs have output current limitation, I am using a 150 ohm resistor to drive the gate of, of the MOSFET IRL 530. As I'm uh, using 110 kilohertz and the driving power is uh, very low for the ultrasonic transducer, so the switching loss due to the higher high gate resistance will not be much. Uh, this is the implemented circuit on a proto board. Uh, the inductor is a handmade uh, coil copper wire wound on a plastic bobbin and uh, this is the 748C14 inverter Schmidt trigger IC and this is the port which is used to tune the frequency and this is the driving MOSFET IRL530. Uh, this is the circuit in action. It is driving a transducer. Voltage waveform at the gate of the MOSFET and the transducer output is shown here in this slide. From the gate waveform, you can see it is not an efficient switching, but it is driving a low power device. This uh, transducer is less than one, one watt or a few hundred milliwatt. So the heating due to switching loss is insignificant. So if uh, 12 volt is used as the supply voltage, you can see the peak voltage of the, at the transducer is much, much higher. 
uh, due to the resonance effect. To find out the resonant frequency of the transducer, I connected a 10 ohm resistor in series with the transducer and also a signal is applied to the circuit and here you can see the voltage applied to the circuit and the voltage across the 10 ohm resistor. The green line represents the signal across the resistor. Now I am increasing and decreasing the frequency and you can see that when the resonance is reached the current goes highest and now and also the two signal are exactly in phase so this is the resonant frequency and it is close to 104 kilohertz uh, this is the practical circuit that I tried and this is the transducer it is making the mist by increasing and decreasing the supply voltage uh, I can control the amount of mist scope screen shows the voltage across the transducer it is not purely sinusoidal but it works this is the tuning resistor this is the MOSFET and this is the handmade inductor of 600 micro Henry now the oscillator output voltage is shown you can see it is purely square wave Now I am changing it to the gate voltage and this is the gate waveform. You can see the switching is not very efficient switching but it's a low power device so it will not generate much loss. And it, this shows the current and voltage so it is only less than 1 watt you can see the only 62 milliamp for a 15 volt supply voltage. Now three transducers are connected in parallel. You can see the uh, the mist is tripled 